Have you ever felt uninspired or unmotivated, dreading the thought of sitting down to paint, or just making excuses to do literally anything else? Me too. What we are experiencing is called burnout. Let's talk about it and how to fix it. Lately, I just haven't wanted to do this. Between my day job, everything that goes into running a YouTube channel, household chores, it's just a lot. Usually, I just need a short break, but this time around, it's been going on a lot longer than I would like. Burnout occurs when you have been going too hard for too long. Symptoms of burnout include sleeping problems, headaches, irritability, and what we are focusing on in this video, a loss of interest in activities. Today, I'm just trying to fall back in love with my hobby. Mini painting, YouTube, this. So let's start painting and talk about it. We'll start from the beginning. We need to identify why you aren't painting. Are you burnt out on the hobby itself or is your lack of interest a symptom of burnout? The number one way to deal with burnout is self-care, and hopefully, miniature painting is self-care. But if it's stressing you out, how do we fix it? In my opinion, burnout really comes down to one thing, expectations. In a time of burnout, in a time of burnout, we want to throw all expectations into the garbage. What are these expectations? It might be how much you think you can accomplish in a single sitting, what skill level you want to paint a miniature to, the impending due date for that commission, or what new technique you want to master. Instead, we need to focus on finding joy in the action of painting, not in the results of our painting. When we attach accomplishing goals to our enjoyment of the hobby, failure becomes more likely and more heartbreaking. For my burnout, I warp how I paint my model around the expectation of creating a good and cohesive video. I really enjoy using an airbrush, but I usually don't be on zenithal priming because not everyone has access to one or is skilled at using one. But this video is actually about me, not you, so I'm using one. I'm also dropping the expectation of painting this model to a certain level. I usually find great pride in painting my models to near display quality, but that's not on the table today. Instead, I'm enjoying using my airbrush, which is a pretty cool contraption. I'm focusing on how lucky I am to have this space to work in, the joy that my community brings me, and working to lose myself in my painting. In order to fall back in love with the hobby, we have to refocus how we enjoy it. With my airbrush complete, I'm switching to my brush. Glazing and wet blending are my favorite techniques, which again, are a little more difficult than what I like to do for a video. I'm creating a mixture of purple ink and paint and glazing it into the shadows of my fabric, which in the end doesn't work and will get painted over later with a combination of wet blending and glazing straight paint. And while the fact that I'm putting in so much work only for me to paint over it sucks, since I focused on the enjoyment of painting, I'm not actually that upset about it. I was having fun, and I am now going to continue having fun. And in the spirit of having fun, I don't want to paint this fabric anymore, so I'm not. I knew that continuing to focus on the quality of the fabric was only going to stress me out. So the easiest thing? Just put it out of my mind and do something else. Before we continue, let's take a minute to talk about Collective Studios. Collective Studios is formed by veterans of the gaming and collectible industry. This month, their release is Under the Veil of Darkness, which includes Mind Flayer creatures, alien monsters, and Underdark-themed scenery pieces. There is also a special mid-October release as well, created in collaboration with the guys over at Craftworld Studio. Collective Studios models are pre-supported and come in both 32 and 75 millimeter scales and are just incredibly detailed. Subscribe to their tribes or Patreon for $15 a month and receive more than 30 miniatures each month. But as of filming this, there are still a few early bird slots left for $13 instead of 15. Subscribers get a 50% off coupon to use on Collective's My Mini Factory store each month. And on top of that, Collective Studios is offering a 10% off coupon to my subscribers to use on the new My Mini Factory Store items. Thank you so much, Collective Studios, for sponsoring this video. Back to painting. The next thing to survive burnout is self-awareness. 
The problem with burnout is that stress can start to feel expected, even normal. That's why it's so important to do regular check-ins with yourself to see where your stress level is. One way to do that is to set a timer for 30 minutes or an hour. And when the timer goes off, ask yourself, are you having fun? For the skin, I'm mixing up several colors to find something similar to the ink mixture I had used in the airbrush. I'm darkening down the shadows of the arms using a mixture of green, yellow, orange, and purple, as well as increasing my brightest areas with a mixture of green, yellow, orange, and white. If you find yourself counting down the seconds to your alarm, then clearly mini painting is not working for you. But if the timer gives you a jump scare because you were so focused on having fun while doing it, then it sounds like you are doing everything right. Continue painting and have fun. It's okay to take a break. If everything I've talked about hasn't made miniature painting any more enjoyable for you, then go do something else. Since miniature painting is so ingrained in my burnout, I've been finding a lot of relief by drawing instead. I'm currently drawing my D&D character and listening to a new audiobook series. Honestly, it has made a huge difference. It has been so nice to have something to look forward to outside of my work with YouTube. For me, I've come to find that it's hard to fix burnout with the thing that has caused burnout in the first place. If you need to, reach out and talk. Having a support system is so important for conquering burnout. Reach out to family or friends, or if you need to, just comment down below. Finally, you never know when the desire to paint miniatures might strike. Though I have been enjoying my freeform painting, I recently got this miniature in the mail and as soon as I unwrapped it, a flood of excitement and inspiration I haven't felt in weeks came forth all at once. So buy that new model or new paints, go for a walk or pet the cat. The way to fix burnout is different for everyone. Alright, that's it from me. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, go join me over on Patreon. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.